this is your astrological flow chart. Mine, I'm analyzing it. And it's just a wheel. As you can see, the wheel. That's all I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your, your sun is in a Scorpio, and it's going to... Okay. Well, duh. You are actually a Leo rising, and remember when I asked you, were you a Leo? And you're not. You're a Scorpio. So right off the way, people think that you're a Leo when you come off the right away, and you'll look like a Leo because it rolls the face. It's the area... Your personality... No, like your persona, like when you acquaint yourself with somebody like, hi, nice to meet you, people will think that you're a Leo right away in a way. You'll be like, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And also, your moon is your inner being. It's, it's your mind, uh oh. It's your mind and your emotions. And it's how your mother treated you. Your moon is in Taurus, which means your mother spoiled you with money and food. Money and food. She didn't want to deal with your emotions. She's just like, here's some money, yeah, here's yeah. some food, girl. Yeah, go, go, yeah. Yeah, go, go buy, yeah, huh? go get, yeah, go, um, feel good about yourself, go get yourself a yeah. um, massage or something, because that's what Taurus yeah. rules is comfort and stuff. And then, um, also, it's actually in your 10th house, so she, she made you grow up pretty fast, and, yes, uh, I did. and, um, you probably bought your own car or something, even yes, if yes, she's yes. still giving you money here and there, just yes, yes, treat, yes. that's how you treat you. And then, um, okay, your, your cryon is in, uh, Taurus, so you always have to heal your, be your own mother, heal yourself emotionally. Uh -huh. Your rising sign is Leo, so you're like, Marsha, 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 when you come off, you know, right off the way, and you do, like, hello, bitch, pretty girl, with blonde hair, you know? And, um, the way you heal other people is to be in their reputation. You make everyone's reputation look awesome, like, you're the be a boss at your job, people will treat you like the boss, and they look good because they're being seen with you. And yeah. that's how they come to you, they're like, can you please write... Can I write you down as a reference, please? Because if they call you and you talk to them, I'll get hired. And that's how you heal them because yes, you are I, good at I it. I make people look good. Yeah, you do. You make them look good. Yes. You're doing it for me right now. Thank you. Yes, okay. really yes, you do. And um, Yes, you do. And then um, your eighth house is in Pisces, which means you might kill yourself or drown or be poisoned in real life. Like, that's a harsh really? part of dying. Yeah. And, and you? That's crazy. Okay. Yeah? When is this going to happen? We don't know, because it's unpredictable. And, um, okay, your eighth house, that's the death house, the cult knowledge and stuff, you're also psychic and stuff, and your Jupiter, yeah. listen, listen, your Jupiter's in the, in, in, in Scorpio, which means you're a psychic meaning, you can see spirits and you can talk to them. I do, I do. Yes. I feel them, yes. Yes. I that's, do. That's you, and this is your, this is your, uh, skill that you got. I do. And if you aim at it and keep on putting effort into it, because it's a spoon fed to nobody, it will, you, it will happen for you. you yeah, I, you feel, have to, I feel it. You have to do it for people. Yeah, and you, I feel it. Like my brother died, and I feel, you know. Yeah. You have a little brother? Older brother. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Well, he's a half brother, but he died, and um, it's like he, I feel him. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna die. Oh, we're not now. I mean, just like it, that's how it possibly could be, like Pardon? poison, suicide, drugs, and or uh, drowning. This could be your death, your eighth house. I believe it. Who knows? And um, that's how you feel. Other people they come to you, they're like, you know. You know, help me get a job, help me with my career, help me with my, uh, my, how we remembered, you know, if you wanted, you know, and also it's in, um, the sixth house of every day. You're always making everybody look good. You're hard, working hard for other people. I do, I try to make it very happy. Yeah, and, um, uh, every day, and it's your relationship with animals too. Okay, well, mm -hmm. um, your, your Mars is on Capricorn on the cusp of such hair. So when you get mad, you might be mad about somebody mess with your belief system and your philosophy. And that's why you get mad. Or you'll be very slow and take your time during sex because this is your sex expression. And, um, something like that. <laughs> and, um, that's how you get mad. So, like, okay, your, your Venus is in Scorpio, which means you're very passionate, loving, sexual. And it's like you, to get to know other people, you have to have sex with them. You feel like you have to have sex with them to get it to know them any further. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does further than this. I know exactly, but when you get paranoid about other people in your relationship of cheating on you, you accuse them, accuse I, them I, do, I do, I so, do. But really, secretly, you're actually cheating on them, but you're still like saying, thinking the same way as they do. Like, you feel guilty about uh, having passionate relationships and sex with other people. You're but, totally wrong. But the person that you want to go out with and tell them that you're going out with them, you're like, I want to hold on to you, I want to control you and make you not do what I'm doing. But still, you're my one love I want, but, you know, they're like, but then you project this guilt on them, and you yeah, try to make them feel guilty. Yes, so, like, I want yeah. you to tell me, if you are if you are cheating on me, tell me now, because I'm already doing it, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm yeah. just going to accuse you and accuse you. That's how the Venus and Scorpio works. But they just don't know that's just your relationship with other people, everybody kind of in a way, because Scorpio, and to transform other people. 
is what you do. You give them a purpose in their life. You're like, I gave you a purpose, and bye, bitch. And then you, t you treat everyone like they're just dead to you because you are dead. You transform, and you're not forgiving because you're an idiot. <laughs> if you're not forgiving, like a Pisces, but your eighth house is in there in darkness and despair, you will start learning how to forgive when, you know, in a crisis in the middle of your own. I've been learning how to do that. Yeah. And then, uh, your 10th house is in beautiful Taurus on the cusp of Aries. So people are, you, you are like, look at my shit, look what I did. I'm competitive in this public's eye and I'm going to win. And you're going to look beautiful doing it because Taurus is beauty and that's your public image. How people are going to remember you. It owns cameras because it rolls cameras. And you box modeling. All, all eyes on me. Yeah. You're Leo rising, so you want the attention yes, right away. Yes. Which is good too, because get it. You got yeah. it, you got it. Yeah. yeah. And show it off because it like it was meant to be seen anyways. Um you're and okay, this is another symbol that's in cancer. I don't know what that is yet. Um Your seventh house is in Aquarius. The people that you attract is like friendly people, you know, and like they're like um they're astrologers. Have you ever attracted an astrologer? Somebody who's just weirdo, people the outcast. You just attract all those people. You're like, I'm totally popular and I can just make you popular if you sit with me. I'm so cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I attract assholes. What? Asshole. You attract ass Oh, egotistical mania. People are like, yeah. I know it all and you don't know yeah, nothing. Yeah. That's how they are. Yeah. And then, and they might be racist or prejudiced, yeah, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. That's the people that you attract. And I mean, it's unrealistic because it's so 2020 now, but there's still people out there that exist as, yes. as this. So, but your shadow self is kind of, you're kind of secretly like that in a way, but you're also learning lessons through that in yes, your shadow yeah. self. I'm not to be prejudiced or racist you're and stuff right. like that. And just like be unique and not be embarrassed of how you dress and stuff. Yeah. And you secretly have an expression, which you have, you know, which is more unusual than others. And it's more of a transcending thing in your shadow self. And you know what I mean? That's how that would be. And then, um, you have 11th house in Gemini, so you're two-faced with your friends, and you probably lie about them and gossip about them or something. And then it's like, okay, your ninth house is in Aries. You go to bed fighting in a war. You're like a war, but when you wake up, you're like, I'm, I'm your, I'm your marriage partner. I'm like wanting to be in a relationship right now. When you wake up, you're more, more, less confrontational before you go to bed. Like, you have to just start a like, you need to go running before you go to bed or something to express yourself, or you explode before you go to bed. Because, you know, that's kind of like your philosophy. It's kind of like a old white cells philosophy in a way. You're, you know, it's really quick. It's like, I don't want to think about it. I just deal with the thing that used to be, you know, my thoughts. And that's how your philosophy might kind of be. But when you wake up, you are, like, relational. You want to wake up with your partner. Yeah, you don't want to yes. go to sleep with them. Yeah. You want to be by yourself when you go to sleep. When you wake up, you want to be with your partner. And right away, that's what you think about funny and then um and then you have your 12th house in cancer oh you're like everybody's mother like you have a baby that's dead or something like in the other side or you you bring babies from the other no world and you can speak to them and um see them and know them you know what i mean that would be your spiritual gift you'd be everybody's mother and spirit your mother and your nourishing and spirit that come to you for that and that's how you are your feet would be <laughs> like like people in general yeah like dead spirits wow and people living uh, you'd be their spiritual mother uh okay your second house is in virgo so you're very good account of being accountant and counting out the people's money and um your uh yeah do you think that yeah day day routine and um your third house is in labor so you have a beautiful voice you probably could be a singer and you have mercury in that too and it's in the fifth house when you express yourself so when you express yourself you might want to do karaoke or something you'll you'll be balanced in uh your um heart you have a beautiful heart is what it would mean too you have a beautiful expression what whatever you want to create is a beautiful Let's see. um yeah that's your fifth house is in um sagittarius so, uh you also express yourself like through your philosophy and traveling like and stuff like that i guess and gambling with life or some bullshit mm -hmm. I guess, but still, at the same time, that's the story of, and there's more to it, but I need the, uh, I guess, oh, I don't know, it's hard to see just a freaking will. And then, this is in Cancer, something like Vista, I guess it's in Cancer, you want a family, and mm -hmm. I don't know, and, um, with your friends, you basically are sharing your kids with your friends or something, you have kids? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, the, the family is with your friends, you know what I mean? 
school and you, your friends have kids too and that's how y'all y'all hang out with their kids do a lot that's yeah. fun that's a good place to be you're so awesome thank you i loved your chart and bomb.com oh my gosh I'm glad i got to do this with you yes and you can thank do that anytime so and there's more people that you can get info from just by looking that up you're bomb.com bomb.com all right i'll definitely do that